Hi people and hello my Chili Con Garnish crew, it's Chili here for a 5 minute review and on this episode we're going to be talking about Portugal, The Man and of course their album Chris Black Changed My Life. So let's get into this. I have Metallica to thank for introducing me to this band via their Blacklist album which saw Portugal The Man doing a cover of Don't Tread On Me. This adds to a long list of other bands that Metallica have shown me over time alongside Diamond Head, Motorhead, Black Sabbath, Mac DeMarco, Rodrigo e Gabriela and many many more. To my Metalhead fans who aren't familiar with Portugal The Man, they are indie rockers from the US of A and are famous for the song called Feel It Still, which was featured on the ad for the iPad Pro and helped them get over 1 billion streams for that song. Damn, that's a lot of streams. I bet the Spotify payout was really good. Could you pay me in advance? <laughs> Actually, I want to give a quick shout out to their single released last year called What Me Worry, which is a slogan of the Mad Magazine and is one slick tune. Their style of indie rock quasi blues style while fusing various other experimental styles in their songs is quite intriguing. They remind me of Sticky Fingers in parts actually. This record is their 8th outing, not covering EPs, which is impressive given their 13 year career. I mean, using the band Tool as a metric to compare the times, then by the time the next Tool album is out, we probably would have seen 6-7 albums by Portugal the Man. The history of this record is shrouded in a dark and somber vibe with the passing of the band's hype man Chris Black, of which the album takes its namesake from and pays tribute to his life and the impact he left on the band members. With this in mind, the album starts off with the aptly titled opener Heavy Games, a short, slow piece that has a forewarning to it. The next tune, Grim Generation, follows step and has a drum pattern very similar to Della Soul's The Magic Number. It's a funky tune that I enjoyed. Dummy is the lead single from this album and is a pretty solid single, but I kind of feel like Summer of Love might have been the better pick. Maybe it was too on the nose and it drips of pop song sugary goodness, but I'd like to hear your thoughts below. With Dummy, the song also incorporates a little bit of nursery rhymes with it, with the 1, 2, 3, 4 lyrics, 5, 6, 7, 8 lyrics. And it is quite an effective choice, as I know many other musicians have done this before. Corn comes to mind, for instance. One of the major advantages to this record is its runtime at just over 30 minutes in length, and it feels like an effort that you want more of before it feels like a full on commitment to play through the entire EP. By the time this album was over, I had thought to myself, well, damn, I can't believe it's over so soon. Overall, I would give this album a score of 6 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Grim Generation, Ghost Town, and Doubt. Oh, I forgot to mention the song Doubt earlier, which seems to remind me a lot of an Elton John sounding piece, with a modern kick with its grandoisque piano suite throughout this song. As for my score, well, I still march to a somewhat different drum with my with me enjoying a few songs on here, but not really getting engrossed into their style. It's still a good effort, and by no means is this a bad album. Quite the opposite, actually. But it's still not my style. So if you enjoy modern chilled indie rock, then you will enjoy this record, I reckon. Thank you for checking out this episode of 5 Minute Reviews. Make sure you do the socials, like this video, share it with someone, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and stay notified for future music videos. As always, people, I hope you have a great day and stay spicy out there, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listen Race. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday. Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listener Race, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.